Thank you, Representative Newhouse, and uh, thank you for chairing the Western Caucus and bringing this very, very important issue and, and lawsuit to light. Uh, let me begin by quoting President Dwight Eisenhower when he said, farming looks very easy when you live a thousand miles away from a cornfield and you use a pencil for a plow. The problem that we face on a regular basis across our nation is that far too many individuals who are completely removed from the issues are making decisions about how to address them. This is exactly the case when we look at the current lawsuit against the United States Forest Service. First, let's shed a little bit of light on the litigants. The Forest Service Employees for Environmental Ethics, and as Representative Newhouse described them, the FSEEE, -E -E, is not a group of Forest Service employees. They are a radical group out of Oregon whose goal it is to stop humans from properly managing forests while lining their own pockets with taxpayer dollars after a settlement. The result, severe air and water quality degradation and the risk of thousands of lives and livelihoods. Fire retardant is a vital and effective tool for Montanans and rural communities, slowing the spread of fires and minimizing damage. Wildfires burned more than seven and a half million acres across the United States in 2022. This number could easily be doubled or tripled if not for the use of safe and effective fire retardants. That the litigants are suing to prohibit the use of. Anyone who has visited the site of a wildfire, even years afterward, recognizes the devastation and the destruction they cause, both short and long term. The soil is rendered sterile because of the immense heat generated, resulting in no productive vegetation growth for years after the fire. This lack of vegetative cover then leads to major erosion problems and a dramatic reduction in water quality, severely damaging the fisheries and the elimination of food for habitat for wildlife. On top of that, the reduction in air quality during wildfires is so severe that anyone who hasn't lived through it couldn't even comprehend the effects on a community. I have driven through these smoke-choked areas in broad daylight and had to use my headlights because the visibility was reduced so dramatically because the smoke was so thick. I have spoken with young and old alike who have been hospitalized due to severe respiratory conditions as a direct result of the smoke and the particulate that's produced by these wildfires. In Montana, we see thousands of acres burn every single year. And these wildfires pose a major threat to our way of life. We see property destroyed and crops decimated. It cripples our economy and slows our tourism. Montana is proud to have a dedicated team of first responders and pilots who fight tirelessly to contain these wildfires, utilizing these retardants. Because of their ability to utilize this tool and mitigate fire risk, Ways of life in rural communities are preserved, and those who choose to live in remote areas are able to do so safely. Wildland fi firefighters work to protect communities and forests from the spread of wildfires, and the aerial application of fire retardant has proven to be the most effective method of containment. This method is crucial at a time when government regulations tie our hands in regards to proper forest management. If it were not for these draconian regulations, fewer fires would be burning, and much of the retardant complained about would not even be necessary. Montanans have a proud tradition of responsible stewardship of our land and water resources. A simple review of state and private land conditions as compared to the federal lands of Montana will prove that. The claims by environmentalists that our efforts to contain wildfires are homing, harming our watersheds is blatantly false. According to the Forest Service Environmental Impact Study, one one-hundredth 
of one percent. One one hundredth of one percent of all fire retardant drops spilled into the water. This was done either inadvertently or under the allowed exception to protect life and safety. This is because our first responders follow already existing rulings prohibiting the delivery of fire retardant directly into bodies of water. We recognize the need for clean water. It's obvious that keeping our water clean is very important for our agricultural industry, our energy production, critical infrastructure development, and certainly for all of our citizens. I would also ask those who allege these claims to remember that wildfires do not discriminate. They spread wherever there is fuel, and if left unchecked, can and will further threaten protected water and lands. The consequences of a future ruling preventing the use of fire retardants are especially dire for Montana. If this were to happen, catastrophic wildfires would threaten thousands of lives, millions of dollars in assets, and immeasurable destruction to air, land, and water quality. This lawsuit is a continuation of the radical environmentalist agenda that has been waging war against Western and rural communities. Simply put, these environmentalists literally want to watch the world burn. I won't stand by silently and allow that to happen. This case needs to be thrown out. Please join me in fighting these misguided lawsuits which strive to gain revenue from taxpayers at the expense of property and the lives of people across Montana and the rest of the country. Thank you, Mr. Newhouse, and I yield back.